This text describes a place where unpredictable events can occur at any moment. Nowadays, many ships traveling between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans prefer the Panama Canal, as it's a faster and safer route. But before its opening in 1914, vessels had to navigate the treacherous Drake Passage, notorious for being the most perilous sea route in the world. The passage spans about 500 miles wide and 620 miles long, with an average depth of 11,150 feet. So far, over 800 ships have sunk in the Drake Passage, although that's only counting the known incidents. Approximately 20,000 people have lost their lives there, and fatalities continue to this day. For instance, in 2022, a rogue wave struck a cruise ship on route from Antarctica to Argentina, killing one person and injuring four others. The enormous wave slammed into the vessel, breaking windows, flooding rooms, and knocking down walls. Rogue waves are just one of many dangers in the Drake Passage, and even ordinary activities can be challenging. Ships typically take around 48 hours to cross the passage, but sailors often remember that crossing for the rest of their lives. One passenger likened the experience to being stuck in a washing machine for 36 hours, despite never having suffered from motion sickness before. Dining on these journeys requires serious effort. Plates and glasses slide around, even with sticky mats. Eating feels like kneading eight hands, while trying to keep yourself steady as the ship sways violently. Many people feel seasick, and barf bags are readily available in public areas. Everything on board, from laptops to tableware, must be securely fastened. Loose items on board must be secured, either stored in drawers or tied down, to prevent them from flying around during the next big wave, which could otherwise cause injury. Moving around the ship becomes an ordeal, requiring passengers to cling to railings or poles for support. Not because it's a rule, but because it's physically impossible to walk without doing so. Even simple tasks like using the stairs or opening doors demand considerable effort to avoid accidents. Some people have even reported tying themselves to their beds while crossing the Drake Passage to avoid being thrown off during sleep. This is because the ship reacts to the waves in a way that creates periodic vertical acceleration, making a person's weight fluctuate. At one moment, they almost feel weightless, and seconds later, their weight nearly doubles. Sleeping under such conditions is virtually impossible unless you're strapped down to so. What makes this place so unpredictable? The Drake Passage lies between Cape Horn at the southern tip of South America and Livingston Island in the South Shetland Islands, essentially forming a gap between Antarctica and South America. Although there are two other routes south of South America, the Strait of Magellan and the Beagle Channel, they are narrow, winding, and dangerous due to unpredictable winds and currents, making navigation nearly impossible. In contrast, the Drake Passage offers open water for hundreds of miles, which is why it's often chosen despite the dangers. The passage was named after Sir Francis Drake, the British explorer and privateer. Though he wasn't the first to pass through it, he discovered the open water south of South America in 1578 when a storm forced his fleet south of the Strait of Magellan. One ship was lost, one had to return to England, but one vessel successfully navigated the passage. This discovery eventually led to the passage bearing his name. The treacherous waters of the Drake Passage were also a significant barrier to early Antarctic exploration, delaying human landings on the continent until the 19th century due to the difficulty of reaching it. A major reason for the dangerous conditions in the Drake Passage is the wind. Storms can arise unpredictably at any time of the year, making it impossible to predict when one might strike during a crossing. The location itself is a major factor contributing to this volatility. The Drake Passage is a narrow sea route where the Pacific, Atlantic, and Southern Oceans converge, making it one of the most chaotic marine environments in the world. Cyclones in this region are especially fierce, with cold water from Antarctica meeting warmer waters from other oceans, often triggering sudden storm formation. The passage, stretching roughly 620 miles, is notorious for producing dangerous storms due to this temperature contrast and the complete absence of land. The Southern Ocean, which encircles Antarctica, is unique in that it has no land barriers, allowing winds to sweep unimpeded around the globe. On maps, this is evident by the light blue color, 
indicating some of the strongest winds on Earth. Unlike in the North Atlantic, where land masses interrupt wind flow, in the Drake Passage, these winds can reach speeds of 30 to 45 miles per hour. If a ship is lucky enough to be traveling with the wind, the passage is still treacherous. Waves, some reaching heights of 39 feet, relentlessly crash into vessels. In extreme cases, waves can soar to 66 feet or more. These towering walls of water pound ships one after another, and given Antarctica's proximity, the temperature makes the experience bitterly cold for sailors. Seasoned mariners describe the Drake Passage as having two modes, the Drake Shake and the rare Drake Lake. The former, characterized by constant turbulence, is much more common, and the high waves make the ship's portholes look like washing machine doors due to the frothy water splashing against them. The relentless swaying of the ship is another constant hazard. Before entering the Drake Passage, captains typically advise passengers to take seasickness medication. Even Charles Darwin, a seasoned traveler, suffered extreme seasickness when rounding Cape Horn, a testament to how unforgiving this stretch of ocean is. And this is without even considering the rogue waves that add to the danger. As mentioned earlier, rogue waves are unpredictable and can be more than twice the height of the surrounding sea. Although scientists are still unsure of their exact cause, it's believed that they form when smaller waves merge into larger ones, creating massive, unexpected swells. One such wave recently claimed a life in the passage, highlighting the ongoing peril sailors face. This extreme environment is also influenced by powerful surface winds and shifting ocean currents, both of which contribute to the chaotic conditions in the Drake Passage. Yes, this absolutely happens here. In fact, some of the strongest ocean currents in the world flow directly through the passage. Experts describe it as a melting pot where extreme currents transport carbon, including the deposited by plankton. Once this carbon sinks to the ocean floor, it remains there for centuries. While plankton isn't the key concern, the importance of the Drake Passage lies in it being the narrowest gap for the most powerful ocean current on Earth, the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, ACC. This ACC is like a massive, continuous flow of water that circles Antarctica, acting like a moat around a fortress. Through the Drake Passage, this current moves more than 4.6 billion cubic feet of water per second, which is over 100 times the combined flow of all the rivers on Earth. Stretching over 12,400 miles, it is the largest ocean current globally. The absence of land masses allows this powerful current to gather even more force, generating immense pressure that can easily destabilize even the largest vessels. When combined with the winds and waves, it becomes clear why the Drake Passage is considered one of the deadliest sea routes. What's truly remarkable is that people began crossing it as early as the 16th century, long before modern ships were as durable and advanced as they are today. One of the most incredible modern feats occurred in December 2019, when a team of elite athletes rode across the Drake Passage entirely under human power. Unlike traditional crossings that go from the Atlantic to the Pacific, this group rode from South America to Antarctica. The team of rowers worked in shifts, three rowers at a time for 90 minutes, switching out in rotation to row 24 hours a day. They covered over 620 miles in 12 days in a specially designed boat. Imagine enduring the freezing ocean, colossal waves, fierce winds, sleet, seasickness, and relentless rocking. What kept these incredibly brave individuals going was their determination to simply keep rowing, no matter what. Adding to the mystique of the Drake Passage is the legend of a ghost ship, the schooner Jenny. According to the tale, Jenny set sail from White Island in 1822, but froze in the Drake Passage in 1823. It was supposedly spotted again in 1840 by the whaling ship Hope. As the story goes, the crew of Hope found Jenny's passengers frozen solid, perfectly preserved by the Antarctic cold. However, there's no concrete evidence to back up the tale of the ghost ship Jenny. It's more of a legend than fact. But what about the real challenges of navigating the Drake Passage? Despite the creation of the Panama Canal, which is faster, safer, and more economical in terms of fuel and operational costs, many ships still have to pass through the Drake Passage. Only 37% of global ocean shipping can use the Panama Canal due to size constraints. 
The rest, particularly mega ships, are too large to pass through and are forced to sail around Cape Horn, braving the infamous Drake Passage. In the days of old sailing ships, primitive navigation tools, and unreliable weather forecasts, the Drake Passage was undoubtedly perilous. Even today, it remains risky for small vessels or schooners. However, for larger modern ships like expedition vessels or cruise liners, it's no longer the life-or-death challenge it once was. While still a physically demanding and memorable journey, modern ships are equipped with advanced stabilizers and use cutting-edge navigation technology to handle the waves and winds. It's certainly not the same as battling the elements in a fragile clipper ship. The risk of death, while still present, is now extremely rare, limited to tragic accidents. One such disaster dates back to 1819, when the Spanish ship San Telmo sank in the Drake Passage. The wooden-hulled vessel, transporting reinforcements to Peru during the War for Independence, went down with all 644 aboard. This was the last confirmed shipwreck in the Drake Passage. By comparison, modern vessels are much sturdier and better prepared for the dangerous conditions. However, even in modern times, unexpected dangers persist. In December 2019, debris from a Chilean Air Force cargo plane was found over a remote part of the Drake Passage after a crash during a supply mission to Antarctica. The plane, carrying 38 people, tragically went down and the cause of the crash remains unknown. On a more inspiring note, the Drake Passage also sets the scene for incredible feats of endurance. Barbara Hernandez, a Chilean swimmer known as the Ice Mermaid, became the first person to swim one nautical mile through the Drake Passage. On June 14, 2022, she achieved this record-breaking swim in just 15 minutes and three seconds, earning her a Guinness World Record. Hernandez, who specializes in winter swimming, is proudest of this achievement, highlighting just how formidable the Drake Passage is, even for the most daring adventurers. The Drake Passage, with all its dangers and challenges, continues to play a vital role in global maritime navigation and remains a haunting reminder of the planet's unpredictable and untamed natural forces. Remember how I mentioned earlier that carbon sinks to the ocean floor in the Drake Passage? thanks to the powerful currents? This is actually a massive benefit for the climate, as the carbon being transported comes from the atmosphere. But the Drake Passage has another, less obvious role that's crucial for the planet. It helps keep Antarctica cold. As strange as it sounds, the lack of a land bridge between South America and Antarctica makes it much harder for warm air to reach the southernmost parts of the planet. This gap, where the icy winds of the Drake Passage blow, acts as a barrier that preserves the frigid climate of Antarctica. If the Drake Passage didn't exist, the continent would be much warmer, and we could see the catastrophic melting of 11.5 million square miles of ice. This scenario would be straight out of a disaster movie. Sea levels rising by more than 160 feet, coastal cities submerged, and global chaos unfolding. Fires, explosions, and apocalyptic vision. Thankfully, the Drake Passage continues to shield us from that grim fate. Its chilling winds and isolation of Antarctica play a vital role in maintaining global climate stability, preventing the kind of catastrophe that would follow if Antarctica's ice were to melt. And as usual, don't forget to hit that like button. See you next time.